Michael. Oh my goodness, that was absolutely incredible. That is the first time I've ever seen a takedown for a cheetah. I apologize that unfortunately we just missed it. So she she chased it again, but um, uh, she missed and and then we lost her going up the crest we try to go as quick as we could but there is no ways that you can keep up with a cheetah especially when you've got some serious obstacles in your way such as the rocks but we got here just in the nick of time to see her she ankle tapped it it went tumbling down and she went yeah. straight for the for the neck that was amazing that was so cool well done girl much deserved right let's reposition let's get a bit of a closer view how you feel ferg is the adrenaline pumping ah oh, i can't believe we just missed it okay let's go and watch her eat it very cool James, you said, well done, girl. Yes, that is the truth. Well, really, really amazing to see something like this. Like I said, for me, first time, start to finish out in the open. Woo! I can't tell you how excited I am. Uh, let's just see where she is. Let me know where you've got a spot because you're higher up than me. I'm going to just park our car like this. So we've got a view. There we go. She's dragging it along now. I'm going to just duck to get out of the way. Uh, you, we are restricted, we've got roofs and things, so we've got to position the car in a certain way so that we can uh, see all the time. Well done. That was very well done. I can't imagine how many attempts uh, she's made today already. And her persistence finally paid off. So that's a female Oroby there. Well done. So she's still just suffocating it. And that's what she's doing now. She's got her jaws clamped around the the windpipe and, and just trying to cut off all uh, the oxygen. And it could take a couple of minutes. And you're very powerful jaws. Not quite as powerful as a hyena or a lion or a leopard, so it could take a little bit longer, but it is quite a small sort of prey species. That was fantastic. You can see she's panting quite a bit now too. Um, they definitely do use a lot of energy when they're running at uh, full tilt. Wow. What an unbelievable show she has put us put on for us today. And like I said, this is live. This is happening right now in the Mara Triangle. We have just watched a cheetah make a kill. There we go. She... Wow. Wow. Now, she's satisfied that that Aruby is not going to get up and run away from her again. Now, this is where the stressful part comes in for the cheetahs. Not actually going after and, and chasing and taking down prey. It's the fact that she is unfortunately quite low down on the predator hierarchy. And when a cheetah does try to catch something, they want to do it as quickly and as quietly as possible. Because, unfortunately, if... Um, that antelope were to have made a sound, hyenas would have come in, lions could have come in, a leopard could come in, and, and this is where she's panicking now. She's just scanning around, making sure that nobody is honing in on her. And I, Earlier I mentioned um, that she looked a little bit jumpy, not because of the vehicles, but I suspect that she has run into a predator this morning. The, her behavior was um, very erratic. And I think that's why she keeps looking back into the left of her. She's been doing that the entire morning. So there's a pride of lions known as the sausage tree pride of lions. They hang around in this area. So perhaps it was them that was who we were originally searching for. So she might just take a little break now um, just to sort of catch her breath. But again, the stress uh, is going to set in. And ideally, she needs to eat that as quickly as she can. Because I've even seen huge flocks of vultures come through and chase cheetah off kills before. So it just goes to show how low they really are on uh, on the sort of hierarchy system uh, out here in the wild. She's panting away, desperately trying to catch her breath, but also constantly looking over her shoulder. That is incredible. The adrenaline this morning is fantastic. Now, Leanne, you're wondering if cheetah always hunt alone? Uh, well, yes, this female will. She's on her own. She doesn't have any cubs. Um, if she had sub-adults with her, maybe they'd assist her, and she'd be teaching them. She'd be showing them how to hunt. It's the males uh, that are more sociable and form coalitions. So the famous musketeers that uh, roam around in the northern, sort of northern traverse of the Mara National Reserve, which we have been very fortunate to see a number of different times, uh, they they hunt together, and then they're able to bring down bigger prey. But when you are a cheetah, 
cheetah, you don't want to kill something too big. Because like we've just discussed is that other predators will come in and, and harass you and quite easily chase them off their kill. So if it's something nice and small, they can quickly gobble it up, get a feed and then move on and, um, and sort of feel a little bit more safe. Because I feel for the cheetah, having a meal around um, potentially means putting your life on the line. Because if, if you stand your ground for too long, then um, you could risk getting killed. But cheetah don't often stand their ground. Sometimes they'll, you know, growl back at hyena. Um, but if there's enough of them, they'll chase them off. That was super exciting. Um, she might take a little break before she does uh, decide to, to eat anything. But that was wonderful. And again, I wish we'd just managed to get the whole thing. 